Good morning to one and all present here. I am Shivangi Kaushik from Dalsan Public School, Dalsan Colony, Karnal. Today, I'll be presenting my views on women empowerment. When we talk about women, we mean half of the population in the world, right? Even with such an acute understanding and knowledge, we consider women as inferior to men. How do we expect the world to grow when the decision makers in our patriarchal society only men and they take decisions on behalf of women without even comprehending or even beginning to understand the struggles of a woman's life. Empowerment is a very wide term to each of his own. The general idea of empowerment, however, is to include the ones who are always neglected in the decision-making process. How do we all can proceed further if half of us are held back? Can we? Earlier, the role of a woman as decided by men was to run household, getting married at a young age, bearing kids and problems like dowry and so on. But now, in India, women are stepping outside of their home to earn a living who support themselves and their families unlike the ancient times. So, even the rules and way of functioning them must be changed. Of course, this shift will not be in an overnight. A change is slow or gradual. When opportunities are created for women in the terms of education and profession in the fields of their interests without any limitations or restrictions is empowering. This gives all the girls and women the power to choose and decide what uplifts their status in the society. It is high time that the limitations of gender roles are challenged and the norms are being broken. Empowerment can be done in various ways. Social empowerment is when women are represented as same as men and worthy beings. Economical empowerment is when women are considered same as men and paid accordingly to their profession. The most crucial empowerment is being educationally empowered because education is truly a leveler which brings all on equal footing. Someone had said once, education is the biggest weapon, which is damn true. When one is educated, it does not matter whether they are men or women. That is why education should not be denied to girls, which is still a harsh truth in many a parts of India. This is these girls who become self-confident, concise and excel in every field and bridges over all the gaps in the society. So, we as a nation will prosper and touch the sky with glory. Thank you.